Hey guys, in today's video, we're gonna take a look at some of my scripts and plugins that were developed by an artist called Nick Barr. Nick is a talented lead character artist based in the Czech Republic, who have worked in many game development studios on different projects and games like Call of Duty and Surveyorium. He has actually developed a wide variety of tool sets, not only for Maya, but also for Blender and ZBrush as well, to help artists like yourself speed up your workflow and increase your productivity. So without further ado, let's take a look at these Maya plugins. The first script we're gonna take a look into is called Fix Normal Green Channel. The script is very useful and instantly get rid of the artifacts that come when you insert a normal map into the material of your model, which are most of the time just previewing issues. And speaking from experience, I don't know how many times I had to go to the normal map node just to flip the y-axis of that map which is the main cause of this problem. And you can imagine repeating that for every single texture of every single model in your scene. The issue is mainly caused by the normal map and the viewport renderer mismatching, having one use direct X and the other using OpenGL or vice versa. And to solve the problem, it is actually as easy as running the script over the model, which is having the issue and this fixes it immediately. Reconstruct Subdiv is another helpful Maya script for whenever you have a smooth subdivided mesh and you want to reverse its subdivision to get a low poly version of that mesh. Now, depending on your case, it can be necessary to have the low poly version of your model back, either because you lost it while smoothing your model or you bought or downloaded the model from the internet and you want to make some modifications to it. I personally find it really useful for people who are getting familiar with modeling and learning topology especially, as it helps you reverse engineer some of the models and learn how they were created in the first place. This script works both on hard surfaces as well as organic models, and it also supports reconstruction with or without preserving the curvature of the model, meaning you can either reconstruct it back to its original subdivision level in addition to its curvature, or you can construct it keeping both the original subdivision and the smooth curvature. Now talking about UVs and UV unwrapping, we have a plugin called Straighten Quad UV, which as its name suggests, it is a UV tool that allows you to unfold the UV shells of your model and straighten them out. And for those who are not aware, straightening UVs is probably the most time consuming when it comes to creating UVs and the most annoying I might add, but at the same time, it is one of the most necessary steps to avoid any distortions or artifacts that can come from texturing the model and this tool by the developer is really similar to the default UV layout tool in Maya. But this one comes with a much simpler one button UI and I personally found that it works best when trying to unfold UVs for hair cards especially as it makes the whole process so much easier and automated. And for it to work properly, it requires the mesh to have quad topology. Next on our list, we have Bridge Pro. And this one essentially combines both the Bridge tool as well as the Fill Hole tool. And they both come by default in Maya. So you might ask yourself, why would I need to use this script if those tools already exist in Maya? Well, it saves you a lot of time as it creates auto bridges one by one between edge loops. So it is kind of like painting those new faces that you are creating. Adding to that, it's support for all kinds of polygonal faces, whether they are quads, triangles, or even angles, make it a really useful tool. And as we mentioned before, this script is useful as a fill hole too, which means you can connect and close a loop of edges and merge them into a single point called a pole. And by combining the two, you get a spare hotkey lab for another tool that you want to use in your modeling workflow. And as a 3D artist, when you are going about your day-to-day -day work or tasks, you might sometimes come across models that are not oriented properly. Whether you get those models from another department, which is rarely the case, or you download them from the internet, and you want to re-unwrap those models using, for example, projection mapping, that's a deal breaker if you have a model which is oriented randomly and doesn't have a proper orientation. And what I mean by proper orientation is when you have the planar surfaces of the model or its key features facing the main three axes, which are X, Y, and Z. An example of that is you have a car model and the proper orientation of it would be as follows. The front is fully facing the X axis and the side is fully facing the Z axis 
and the roof is facing the y-axis. And this is where the next script comes into play, which is called Word Align. It spares you the hassle of manually rotating your objects, which otherwise can be tedious and time-consuming. And how this script works is that it lets you select the faces from each side of the object, and these faces are gonna be the polygons facing the world axis after applying the orientation. You can also paint select multiple faces per side, and this can be extremely useful, especially in the case of 3D scanned models, which are known by their high poly count and their noisy and random surfaces, and they are most of the time randomly orientated from the scanning or the photogrammetry software. Smart Hardened Edges by UV is another neat script developed by Nick, and the tool is the extended version of the standard Soft and Hardened Edges, which is a really good script. And this tool in particular is only used to avoid unnecessary hardened edges seams, especially on rounded and organic shapes. Because as we know, Maya doesn't always smooth out the normals for neighboring vertices, in addition to polygons. And sometimes, the borders of the UV shells may result in a low poly look or your models having some artifacts. But this script helpfully takes care of that. It provides two options. You either ignore the UV border edges on the same UV shell or include them from a specified angle. This makes it easy to switch between the smoothed out look and the low poly look, and it can be adjusted on different areas on the same model. The next script is called Import and Export OBJ Vertex Color. So, Vertex Color is a color map that assigns a color value to each vertex of the mesh, and it can be used in a lot of scenarios in the 3D industry. Whether you want to groom hair in specified places and leave it empty in others, or use it to apply different materials to different parts of the model based on their color values, or simply just paint right on the model to give it color. If you are looking to do something like that, then Vertex Map is the way to go. And for those who don't know, Vertex Mapping is not standard in OBJ with Maya, and this is what makes this script special. It lets you import or export OBJ files with vertex color from Maya to other software like ZBrush and vice versa. The developer confirmed that the script also works with Marmoset Toolback and Houdini, which is something a lot of artists are gonna appreciate, especially the ones who rely on Houdini, I mean its proceduralism, to create custom texture maps or want to color their terrains using the power of Houdini and export those as vertex maps. Last but not least, we have X-Ray Advanced. And before we talk about the script, I should mention that Maya already has an X-Ray viewing mode, like any other software. This can be very useful for modeling, especially when using a reference image, which is a pretty known and widely used technique, where you import a reference image, toggle X-Ray mode, and create your model on top of the reference image. But what about the script at hand? Well, X-Ray Advanced gives you the freedom to change the opacity of the model that you are trying to work with, using only a hotkey. It also lets you adjust the opacity level of the transparency map that you might be having on your model. And there you have it, guys. If you are interested in those scripts, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.